In today's video, we have a manual and what we are going through are some freestyle basketball drills that you can run yourself with a friend. Basically, in these drills, you're going to be doing some kind of a crossover and then you're going to try and beat a man one on one to the rim. This is going to help your finishing, but also it's going to help your ability to change up different moves while mid dribble so that you can be just like in an, an in game situation trying to attack the rim. A lot of players will just focus on the same move over and over and over again. You're not going to be doing that in, in the game. In a game, you're going to be having to change directions and change your moves depending on what the defender shows you. So let's get down. Let's check out this training session with a manual and what you can do yourself with a friend so that you can score more points in your next game. Make sure to go check out my hardest basketball shooting workout that is down in the description below. So this first drill, what we are looking to do is to do some crossovers during or at each one of those pylons. Now, you're not going to be doing the exact same crossover every single time. You're going to change things up just like you would be in game. And then when you get faced with the defender, you need to be able to change up and give different options. And I want the defender, in this case it was myself, to be playing as hard as you can and to try and block that shot. You always want to try and contest that shot as a defender here, as I did right there, so that then that player understands what he has to do. For example, here, he had to change directions and get better position so that I was unable to block his shot. If you're just going to be playing token defense, it's not going to work. By playing token defense, you're not going to be teaching that player how to score in game. So, this is a fantastic drill and the defense has to play smart and the offensive player has to be able to change how he is scoring and change his positioning so that he can have position or better position to be able to score on that defense. In this drill, we're going to be doing crossovers back and forth. The, the space limit is going to be the length of the free throw line. Uh, the player can't get out, go outside of that free throw line while he's doing his crosses to try and size up the defender. Now, what the defender has to do is to slide back and forth to not allow a lane to be open for that offensive player. Obviously, eventually there's going to be a lane that opens and that player has to be able to take advantage of that lane. Now, what we're learning here, now obviously in game, you're not going to be taking 600 dribbles in the same spot, but what we're trying to learn is different angles on how to attack the basket so that, okay, in game, okay, this guy's giving me an inch right here. I can take advantage of that inch and I can get to that rim. Obviously, again, you're not going to be taking 16 million dribbles in the same spot. In this drill, you are. But what you're trying to learn is the positioning of that defender so that you know when and how to attack in game. I want you to try these basketball drills today. These drills are going to help you be able to attack that rim much, much more easier in game. You're going to learn how to take advantage of a defender and how to use your body to be able to manipulate what that defender does. By being able to cut in front of a defender, for example, while attacking the rim with a jump stop, you're going to have the ability to be able to finish. You're going to have an angle to the rim and that's what these drills are meant to do to allow you to learn how to have that angle to the basket make sure to go check out my shooting workout that is down in the description below of course comment and say emmanuel you did a fantastic job and i'll see you guys again in my next video hit that like button and subscribe